In the event that we erase the boundaries the most captivating celestial body I recognize is the one that might be extraordinary in our sky. It is this one Betelgeuse. It's a massive red supergiant star, and if you were to position it where our sun is it would extend all the way out to the orbit of Jupiter. This massive extremely unstable star is on the verge of exploding. It's not as straightforward as it may seem in the cosmos. These colossal events like the most extreme supernovae could shake everything we observe and even things we don't. Though we cannot see it, clearly Betelgeuse is considered a symbol of a red supergiant star typically much larger than our own sun. Brian Cox, along with other astronomers, believes it might explode in a supernova soon. People have grown increasingly concerned about what's going to happen because the James Webb Space Telescope has been capturing remarkable images of the star. Let's delve into a star in the magnificent Orion constellation which shines so brightly that even ancient civilizations noticed it. The splendid star Betelgeuse resides on the eastern shoulder of the Orion constellation ranking as the second largest star in Orion. Its name derives from this location marking it as a shoulder star. Betelgeuse is likely one of the brightest stars visible in the night sky. In addition to its brilliance, the star emits an unusual red hue which as we will explore signals potential danger. Humanity has long studied Betelgeuse. Greek astronomer TMY observed it long ago. At that time, the first thing people recognized about stars was their color. TMY noted that the star seemed to have a reddish-orange hue, an alarming indication. In recent years, scientists have been studying the star with even more precision, and they now have a much clearer understanding of what makes it so strikingly luminous. One of these factors is that the star undergoes substantial variations in brightness, fluctuating by as much as 0.6. Betelgeuse is a variable star, meaning its brightness changes periodically. In 2019 researchers discovered some new behaviors of the star that had never been observed before. Even though Betelgeuse didn't stop shining completely, its luminosity significantly decreased. It dimmed to a level of around 1.6 prompting experts to investigate why such an irregularity was occurring in one of the brightest stars in the sky. They were hoping to find an explanation for why Betelgeuse was behaving so erratically. According to their findings, Betelgeuse could explode as a supernova at any given moment. Brian Cox, a renowned scientist, shared this alarming assessment. As a distinguished professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester and the Royal Society Professor for Public Engagement with Science, his opinion carries weight. He also presents popular science TV shows and writes books, making his perspective well respected. Brian Cox explained that Betelgeuse seems like a ticking time bomb one that could erupt with little warning. To support this claim, the James Webb Space Telescope has provided substantial evidence. Although several peculiarities about Betelgeuse have raised many questions, why does Betelgeuse act so strangely in terms of its variability with the new data Betelgeuse has earned its place as a candidate for a supernova? However, researchers still don't know when the explosion will take place. The fact that Betelgeuse's mass is nearly twice that of the Sun supports this classification. Generally stars with at least several times the sun's mass are considered to be potential supernova candidates. The plot thickens though because scientists have used different tools to investigate Betelgeuse such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory to uncover mysteries surrounding the star. What they've uncovered is still shrouded in mystery. Betelgeuse was born on August 31st a very long time ago and since then the star has been offering strange signals that keep its future uncertain. What did they discover? They detected peculiar light waves emanating from the star which raised further intrigue. But this wasn't the only strange occurrence. It brings us back to the fact that Betelgeuse is a variable star fluctuating in brightness. There were reports that Betelgeuse had regular darkening episodes akin to sunspots on our own sun, but the cycles were different. It shifts between bright and dim phases twice as rapidly as it once did another odd sign that Betelgeuse is misbehaving. Researchers observed that in February 2021, the star's dimming cycle reached a brightness band of plus 1.61. This was not long after the star had experienced a massive dimming event marking the beginning of its abnormal behavior and raising alarms that Betelgeuse might be nearing the end. The significant dimming between 2019 and 2020, reaching its lowest level made many experts convinced that the star would explode within the next 100,000 years. But when Betelgeuse brightened once more after this unprecedented dimming things became even more bewildering. As physicist Andrea Dupree from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics noted the star was now 150% brighter than usual making it the seventh brightest star in the sky. 
researchers were astonished to see a red glow emerging from the southern part of the sky. The situation only became more puzzling. This development sparked numerous theories about the cause of Betelgeuse's great dimming. It's essential to highlight that not every star radiates the same red glow that Betelgeuse does. This glow marks Betelgeuse as a red supergiant star, which is the final phase of a star's life before its death. This red hue is the result of a surface temperature around 3,500 Kelvin, significantly cooler than the outer layer of the Sun, which is around 5,500 Kelvin. Since Betelgeuse is cooler than the Sun, it radiates less energy per unit of surface area, even though it is much larger and on the brink of exploding. We should also consider the extraordinary dimming event that Brian Cox questions. Does it really mean Betelgeuse will go supernova? The fact that Betelgeuse is already in its red supergiant phase indicates that it is nearing the end of its life as a star. A star in this phase will often dim as it dies, and this is something scientists can detect. However, Betelgeuse's recent unusual behavior has caused scientists to be even more focused on monitoring it today. Multiple telescopes are focused on this mysterious dimming event trying to gather more insights. Things continue to get even more intriguing since researchers still don't have a deep understanding of Betelgeuse's behavior. Using cutting-edge instrument scientists are watching the star closely. The James Webb Space Telescope has been one of the most valuable tools since its launch in 2021, helping astronomers gather new valuable data about Betelgeuse. The telescope's images of the star's remarkable dimming have shown that the event caused an enormous mass ejection, roughly 400 billion times more significant than a typical coronal mass ejection. The James Webb Space Telescope can also observe things that are invisible to the human eye such as specific light wavelengths and frequencies, making it an invaluable asset. Researchers have observed dust clouds forming on the star's surface that appear to resemble leaves in space, an odd but fascinating finding. Despite the fact that Betelgeuse is undoubtedly approaching its demise, scientists continue to watch for signs of when it will finally explode. As no one knows the precise moment Betelgeuse is believed to be considerably more massive than the Sun and researchers expect this brilliant red star to shine for the next decade. However, given the strange behavior of the star, it is hard to say if this forecast will hold true after the significant dimming event. For now, scientists do not anticipate that Betelgeuse will explode in the immediate future. Though when it does, it will be the first supernova witnessed in modern times since Johannes Kepler's observation in 1604. Scientists don't believe it will happen soon because they are still trying to understand the star's erratic behavior. Despite this uncertainty, when Betelgeuse does eventually explode, it will be an extraordinary and rare astronomical event. When it finally goes supernova, it will emit an immense amount of energy briefly shining brighter than the entire galaxy and visible even from Earth as bright as the full moon. Though the supernova will be an awe-inspiring cosmic event, it will not pose any direct threat to Earth because Betelgeuse is over 600 light-years away. Nonetheless, it will provide a valuable opportunity for scientists to study the final stages of a massive star's life and the phenomena associated with such an explosive event. Betelgeuse's inevitable demise is not just a scientific curiosity, but also a reminder of the vast and unpredictable nature of the universe. Stars like Betelgeuse play a crucial role in the life cycle of galaxies, enriching the cosmos with elements essential for the creation of new stars' planets and potentially life itself. The death of such a star is not an end, but a transformation as it releases heavy elements that will seed new stellar systems. In the meantime, scientists continue to observe Betelgeuse piecing together the puzzle of its future. With each new discovery, the mystery surrounding it grows deeper, expanding our understanding of the universe with every piece of the puzzle uncovered.